Welcome in, everybody. I'm Devin O'Day. Happy Monday to you. You got a lot of motivation today. We got food stories today, but we're going to start out by going to our highway safety office. I hope you had a great, safe weekend. Um, there was a story of tragedy that I read about, and I, I remember seeing the story as I got the alert on my phone. And I guess it wasn't real until I saw the picture of a 14 year old young lady who was killed on Briley Parkway. This beautiful young girl, uh, and it's just something that we can avoid at all times. And uh, drinking uh, was definitely a part of that accident. There's a life cut short, 14 years old, and it makes the the messages from the highway safety office even more poignant. So, I got a DUI. Mom, Dad. Why didn't you just call someone for a ride? I wasn't thinking ahead. I didn't think I was going to get caught. Yeah, my best friend, Tim. Still coming to my bachelor party next month? This DUI cost me 10 grand, so no. Yeah, you, in the back. Did you know I almost died when you hit me? I didn't think this would affect so many people. You think it was worth it? No, no, no more questions. No more questions. But we do have answers. Don't drink and drive. There are plenty of alternatives. And if you need some help, just message me. I'll send you some alternatives. We got a lot of designated drivers who watch every day. And uh, <laughs> I'm not going to send them to you, but I will tell you how to call, get in touch with Uber or Lyft or a taxi. Those numbers are easy to remember. I think it's like 555-5555. It's just something that is really easy. So don't drink and drive. And it is food time. Menu Monday, we always talk about food and it's time for our daily yummy. I love birding in winter. I absolutely love when the birds come in and even in when it's snowing, it looks like Christmas ornaments in trees when the cardinals are there. And how do you really take care of your backyard birds? There's a company that is franchised and it, we have several Nashville locations, but Wild Birds Unlimited has some great products and they have some great ideas for keeping the birds all year long. You might be in a situation where you can't have pets where you are, but birds and wild birds, they appreciate anything that 
you do for them. And Wild Birds Unlimited has a great product that's perfect, perfect for winter birds. A lot of people do ask me, how did Bark Better come about? And there is a bit of a story there. Nancy and I moved into this woods oh, in the late 80s, and it was fabulous for woodpeckers. We got you know four or five different kinds coming in all the time. But after a couple of years, I started noticing, especially in the winter when the, when the leaves were down, I could see them, these little birds I'd never seen before that were going up and, uh, and down on the trees and they were um, brown creepers. Now, what a cool bird. And I know they're eating little insects, so it's very similar to uh, what the woodpeckers do, but they would never come into a feeder. So I thought, hmm, I guess I'm gonna have to take the food to them. If they're not gonna come to me with a feeder on my deck, I'm gonna take the food to them. So I started studying different kind of recipes that were available. You know, a lot of times people would just spit out straight peanut butter, but it's really kind of hard for them to eat and to swallow it really easily. So I wanted something that they could just grab a bite of and easily swallow it. So I, I tried all kinds of different formulas and I finally came up with what is now called bark butter. And you know, I've got all kinds of mixers and pots and things blowing out of the mixer and, and uh, trying different formulas. My wife Nancy was very good at understanding that, that I was on a quest to make a product that was gonna get those brown creepers. It looked like hummus. <laughs> I'd dip my cracker in there and say, what the heck is this? <laughs> well, it, it was full, full nutrients. You could live on this stuff. <laughs> so I didn't stop you. <laughs> you know, Jim has always had an insatiable desire to create bird feeding products and he just never gives up and he just keeps working and working until it's, it's the best. So one day I was looking out the window and along comes a brown creeper and it's eating the bark butter and then once it worked well then I had to keep making it but it's been been a lot of fun and uh, but we were pretty happy when we finally got it made in a factory and I didn't have to do it in the kitchen anymore. Here we are in uh, 2021, and we have about 155 species of birds that have been observed uh, eating bark butter in one of its forms. And so that's a pretty cool thing, and I do not know of any other single food product that is attractive to that many species of birds, because now it turns every tree into a feeder. Every day the birds have to get a lot of food to make it through the day. So they need it for energy, they need it for building strong bodies, they need it for creating, laying eggs. So one of the things we put in bark butter is calcium. And calcium helps build the eggs and it helps build the bones. Uh, and you add that to all the fats and proteins that are in bark butter. And, and it really is an all around food that uh, really helps birds make it through the day make it through the season, raise families, migrate, uh, all those things they have to do. That's why bark butter can also be an important part in helping save the songbirds. Here's the fun thing with bark butter. So, you know, it's not that hard to bring in, maybe the downy and the hairy and the red bellied, and they'll come to regular suet products. But have you ever seen a scarlet tanager? Have you ever seen a yellow rump warbler? Have you ever seen any of the thrushes come to your feeders? That's really the really cool thing. Now you get the downy and the hairy and the red bellied and the pileated come to bark butter and that's really cool too. That's the real joy I think that the, the bark butter brings to the bird feeding hobbyist and, and to your backyard is to see birds. They may have been going through your yard and you just never had an offering that they were interested in but bark butter is that offering and they are very interested in it. And so I think that's, to me, that's brought great pleasure to me that people have gotten to see birds they would never have seen before. Bark butter is, is just a way to make bird feeding fun.
And that is what it is. <laughs> Bird feeding is fun. And I always say that there are pets that you can enjoy that you don't really have to worry that much about. You just literally just get to enjoy them. And I want to encourage you. Uh, last night, my friends, uh, uh, Tia McGrath and her husband, Tommy Parra, musicians, they were in town and they're going to uh, Bowling Green tonight to play a house concert. And uh, we, uh, I visited with them at an Airbnb in Gallatin. It's right there on the edge between Gallatin and Lebanon on Coles Ferry. So technically, I think it is Lebanon, but it's the cutest little Airbnb on a goat farm. It's an RV and it is on a goat farm. And I've got a story coming up in a few weeks about this because I, I said, I told him, I said, I've got to tell this story. We have some of the most interesting Airbnbs right here close to home. And if you watch my show on Sunday morning, Devin's Table, we're going to take you to some of those because I think being a tourist in your own hometown, especially if you live in an area that's a little bit congested, to just go out and don't spend all your time on gas and travel time. Just stay close to home and enjoy the things that are so special about what Nashville has to offer. There is a very, very important long time, long, long, long time charity called Chuckers for Charity. And I have been a part of it for over 25 years. I'm their announcer for many, many years. <clears throat> and the reason that I do it, Chuckers for Charity is a world-class polo match every year that raises money for Rochelle Center and Saddle Up. And I have been part of the Saddle Up fundraising team for about a hundred years. As long as I've known this organization and it's been there, I've been there as a part of it and I love it. Anytime they've asked me, I just, I believe in it so strongly, but I wanted to share a little bit about what it was like to go to Orrin Ingram's farm and Riverview Polo and see a little bit about how people get together to raise a lot of money that literally sets up an organization every single year. When you think of Middle Tennessee or Nashville, Franklin, you might not think Polo. That seems like something that the British would do, or the South Africans would do, or the people from Argentina. Well, they do, but so do we. Here in Middle Tennessee, or in Ingram, along with James and Lexi Armstrong, every year at Riverview Farm and Orrin Ingram's farm, they get together with Nashville Polo, and they have an invitational that is second to none. Voted the number one charity event in Williamson County, people get together and celebrate a wonderful game of polo with world-class players while raising money for two very worthy organizations. Over 25 years, they've been meeting once a year to play polo and raise money. And they've raised over $3 million for Rochelle Center and Saddle Up. If you don't know about Saddle Up, it is a therapeutic writing program in Leapers Fork, Tennessee for challenged children but they're all equal on top of a horse. It's an amazing organization, and Rochelle Center does incredible work with challenged adults. Their work programs and daycare programs are incredible, and that's why Orrin Ingram, his family, and a host of volunteers and people who buy tickets and cabanas, they decorate, they go all out. This year, there was a safari theme. They have a winning team, and they have great sponsors. They have the winning pony, the best playing pony, and they have stick horse races, and the kids really get a big kick out of stomping the divots. Now what that is, is walking across the field, and literally every place that there's a piece of turf that is uh, pushed up, you actually stomp the divot <laughs> and make sure that the uh, the the field is back in place. Now, if you don't know a lot about polo, it's okay. You really don't have to. You just go, buy a ticket, you eat well, and enjoy a wonderful afternoon. It is fast-paced, it is real, and it is an incredible event for those two organizations. I hope you'll check out CheckersForCharity.com. Well, it's time for our daily giggle. And I know every time I see a daily giggle, it almost always involves a dog.
I was the funniest Monday mood ever. <laughs> Don't you feel like that sometimes on Mondays when you show up at work? It's like, oh, what a weekend. Well, it is the last week, actually the week, to, to take advantage of the wonderful pumpkin experience out at the Autumn Experience at Cheekwood. Hi, my name is Shannon Pruitt. I'm a garden supervisor here at Cheekwood. I want to welcome you to our pumpkin patch for Harvest 2022. We have a few new things I want to introduce you to that we're very excited about. We have a third pumpkin house, which you'll see directly behind me. It's a different shape. It has a whole different look to it, so we're very excited. It really brings our pumpkin village to life. We have our other two houses that you may have seen in years prior, but they look new and different with different pumpkin selections. When you're looking at our pumpkin houses, make sure to look at the roofs, make sure to look at the window boxes, the planters, there's all kinds of stuff to see. We also will have corn dig pits for little kids. They can search for mini pumpkins inside of loose corn, something to keep them occupied for a little while while you sip on a drink and enjoy your time in our pumpkin patch. We've got 10,000 plus pumpkins for you to enjoy within our garden space. When you come visit us at Chiquid, make sure you come visit the color garden where you'll see a mum explosion. We have colors of red, orange, yellow, white. We also have plant themed scarecrows in our seasons garden, which is very fun, very fun for the kids. Bring your friends and family out to Chiquid to see our pumpkin village. Lots of great Instagram photo spots. Now, don't forget, they will be taking all of that down starting on the 30th. So if you want to get in and get a nice shot, go in the afternoon. They're open every day. And uh, cheekwood.org is how you find out more information. Some of my favorite people in the world make their way to the Green Door Gourmet. I'm telling you what, they have great things going on. If you like flowers, don't think springtime is the only place with offerings. say but you're gonna get those rose geranium mm -hmm. that is a very old-time flower that just um, that smells so beautiful the leaves are amazing mm. love them rose geranium take a look at this for centerpieces green door gourmet has you covered all sorts of wonderful things what will be uh, the, the things that are in season for flowers in the fall Everything you're seeing right here, we still have the Lysianthus. Um, we have Celosia, which is a, another old time flower. This is more of a plume style Celosia, but we also have this guy. Maybe maybe your granny grew this, it's called coxcomb, but it's yes. also a type of Celosia. Um, we've got um, some uh, little love in the mist, some dahlias. The, this mm -hmm. is a great time for dahlias. Marigolds, um, my, my granny always called this Royal Hawaiian. I'm sure that is not the proper name for it, but uh, the eucalyptus we talked about, mm -hmm. these are chai flowers. Chai flowers. So oh literally, you can you can eat the leaves or you can uh, pick the blossoms, so it's great. This is Gumfrina, sunflowers of all different colors. How long will we have sunflowers? Uh, sunflowers follow the pattern of the sun. So as mm -hmm. the days get shorter, mm -hmm. the sunflowers will bloom out. These are special sunflowers with all the different colors and they really are designed for fall. So I'd say we've got maybe till the 1st of October for sunflowers. Then after that, there'll, there'll be no more. And tell me one more time about the CSA boxes for flowers. So it's a CSA um, for a bunch of flowers. You get a beautiful hand tied bunch of flowers, one a week for how many weeks of the month, and you mm -hmm. can sign up at greendoorroommate.com.
jalapeno bites are just one of the many pre-packaged mixes that you find for pastries and breads and yummies at Green Door Gourmet. You'll surprise everyone with how well you cook. I absolutely love those those bites. And they have packages of all different things. If you've been, okay, hey, come to my party and just bring a little something, something. And you go, oh my Lord, what am I going to do? They got you covered at Green Door Gourmet and they're delicious and they are gourmet. They taste absolutely scrumptious. Well, uh, U-Turn Laverne out in Robertson County covered the chili cook-off and she got some great footage and some great pictures. We're going to have that story tomorrow on New Step Tuesday. Um, I had a little uh, issue with the computer. So what we're going to close our show with uh, is our last story is from Jason Goolsby who covers all things Wilson County. He is with Blackwell Realty and he is fantastic. You follow him on Facebook, YouTube, anywhere he is, follow him because when dirt's being moved, he is there. But he also talks to the people of Wilson County where we have the Wilson Post and covers some really interesting people. I like this one. Hi, my name is Jason Goolsby of Blackwell Realty and Auction. And I'm here today to do a video and celebrate Wiggins Jewelers and their 30th anniversary. I'm just waiting on camera guy Cole to get here and I'm just gonna hang out here for a while in my truck and wait on him. I hope he hurries up on getting kind of sleepy. I'm here with Jeannie and Jan, Jana Smith the Smith sisters who purchased Wiggins Jewelers from their aunt. Great aunt. Great aunt. Back in 1991. Which makes you guys. Uh, Old. Not, <laughs> you said it, I didn't. Uh, which makes you guys celebrate your 30th anniversary this year. As and of it's, July 1st. As of July 1st. And so a lot of things have changed in 30 really? years. Do we have the picture around here somewhere? <laughs> they have a picture of, of, of themselves that uh, we'll put in the video. But um, so 30 years, I mean, a lot, a lot can happen in 30 years. And one of the things that's happened is you're in a brand new location, which we are located uh, right now. This building, what's the address here? 439 West Main. 439 West Main, but we are right across from the plaza where Los Compadres is. That's probably the most famous place, but right across the road from that, the big Wiggins Jewelers sign out in the yard. But tell me, what makes you, there's hard times, right? And your sisters, if you go through all this, so what makes you stick in there for 30 years? We love what we do. You know what you do? We do. Absolutely. Yeah. Why is that? Is it the people? Is it the gold? Is it the diamonds? The bling? Is it all, the bling? All of that. <laughs> We've always loved jewelry um, and we do love helping customers find the right thing. Mm -hmm. and it's very satisfying right. for someone to be happy and take home the perfect gift. Yeah. And so many people, <laughs> this is sad to say, so many people really do not like what they do for a living. And it's sad, it's sad to say that, but ups and downs. What's the toughest thing you guys have to go through in 30 years? Oh, I know. 30 years. A recent move. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was the toughest thing. It was the most rewarding part. Right. But we had a lot to do between August and January this past year. Yeah, and you guys were over at one point, uh, were over in front of the Lowe's, in front of that building. You probably wasn't even the Lowe's there. There was time. no Walmart. No Walmart. <laughs> and then, and then uh, uh, the other place. South Cumberland. South Cumberland. We had a wonderful place there. And this is where I get to segue here. You know, and you guys decided to stop being renters and own. <laughs> right? What was the catalyst for that? We wanted to do that for a long time, mm -hmm. but some things just fell into place. Right. We had a little help. Mm -hmm. I can't say from where, yeah. <laughs> but it, uh, it just worked out. It just worked <laughs> out. This place became available and we were able to buy it. And 
we love it. Right. I don't think we'll move. I'm here with Shay, who, I mean, he's got the apron on. This is a man that works. <laughs> All right. And, 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 <laughs> so you're a gemologist, gemologist, an appraiser, appraiser, bench jeweler with bench about jeweler. 30 years experience. What does a bench jeweler do? Because I hear that term a lot. Oh uh, well, anything from making it to repairing it, um, resize, finally to resize, resize the ring, custom design. Um, do you resize a ring? I'm curious. Do you? How do you, what do you think? Wax well, welding. Just as well. Cut it in half, open it up, and re weld. And then in that extra gold, you just put that in your pocket. Most of the time. Most of the time. No joking about that. No, but no, one no. of the things is that one of the big things, is, as you said off camera, is with appraiser, with appraisal is to, to be eth ethical. Sure. And you're in your Yeah. Just tell the truth. Yeah. Tell the truth. Because people, if they own something, they want it to be worth Sure, and a lot of people think it's worth a lot, a lot more. unfortunately. What affects the value of, say, diamond? Uh, it's, it's a supply and demand thing. Mm -hmm. uh, look at diamonds, as, I think of them like cars. There's cars everywhere. Mm -hmm. You've got certain cars that are a little higher value than others. So, so the quality. The quality. Yeah. quality yeah. So. All right. Well, thank you. All I right. appreciate it. Very so good. one last thing, not yet, but on your website, which is what? Wigginsjewelers.com. Okay, so self-explanatory there. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have something y'all are going to start doing? Not yet, but you're getting really close. Hopefully it's tell, close. Tell me about that because that's cool. So we love our pets, mm -hmm. and luckily we haven't heard my puppy barking <laughs> today. Because that's not yet. About that tall. She's in my office. Big German Shepherd. Um, she likes most people as long as you let her kiss. Is you let her kiss you on the phone. <laughs> so we have, we're we are going to add a feature to our website which will allow you to upload a picture of your pet, and we will have it made into a piece of jewelry. And mm -hmm. you choose the price range you want, mm -hmm. and then we will have it catted. So using computer aided design, we will create. A piece of jewelry, a 3D piece of your pet, and then have it made. That is, uh, that is cool, and I don't think a lot of people will. I, I, I think two of us need to test it <laughs> first to make sure that it works the way we want it to. Wonderful. I absolutely love Jason Goolsby. Uh, he is part of our family here in Wilson County with the Wilson Post and Blackwell Realty is where you can get in touch with him if you need to buy, sell, or find a property or just see what's going on. <laughs> well, that's our show for today. Be safe, be kind, everybody. But remember, most of all, you are loved. And a shout out today to Greg and to Phil, who's watching in Oklahoma, and to E.B., who joins us from Murfreesboro. You guys interact with us. You share our show. And you guys keep us going. So thank you so much for all you do. God bless you. Have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm.